Hello. Today I wanted to talk to you about how Superman, watch this, Superman came down so that Superman could go in. Oh yeah, he came down so that he could come in. You know, there's a lot of perspective out there on different thoughts, uh, different religions, different philosophies. I have no religion uh, to tell you about. I have no philosophy to tell you about. I just want to share with you a true story. Check this out. A, a, a supreme being, right? Okay, came out of, let's just say, heaven, right? Came to this earth, all right? Now, before, he wouldn't have done that, okay? Um, he would have uh, been in tabernacles, roaming around with a certain group of people and um, being worshipped as a master, being worshipped as someone who is a master over others uh, and all he was known as then was someone who said, don't do this and do that and I'll be happy with you. And that's all of the um, mindset that, that he would be portrayed in the people's minds, you know, as just as a master only, not a father, not someone you can have a relationship with. But this same person came out of the excellent glory, out of heaven, to the earth, walked around, right, talked with men, showed men what was the will of God on the earth, right? And then died for men and women all over the world and then rose from the grave. But not only that, he also ascended back to heaven. Watch this now. So that he could be inside of everyone who believes on him. Isn't that amazing? Isn't he amazing? Isn't Jesus wonderful? Because that's the one who did it. And as we celebrate maybe birthdays, as we're celebrating anniversaries, as we're celebrating all over the world something, let's just celebrate that truth that came from another dimension. You can't imagine that. No man can think up a story that great and that wonderful. It's a true story. And true stories you don't make up. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.